Hey guys, Jonathan from Rest on Firearms. Today, we're gonna to take a look at the new products here at the Caesars Forum in Las Vegas, Nevada at the 2022 International SHOT Show. The products that we're gonna take a look at are some of the new products in the new product exhibit hall here at the Caesars Forums. Today, we're gonna to take a look at these products so you can be informed and understand what these new products do for you in those states that are restricted. Walk with me and take a look at these products today at the 2022 International SHOT Show. We're gonna take a look at our first exhibitor here at the new exhibit hall at the Caesars Forum. Fox Unit, walk over here with me. We're here with the Fox Unit. We're gonna talk about this new product that's coming out. This is one of the products that we're gonna be uh, trying to carry in California. As you know, we are restricted in California on what we can and cannot have. So we wanna to talk to Fox Unit and see this new product. All right. Talk to me about this product, Vincent. All right, so basically, uh, all the gun bands are for semi-automatic. Right. So we developed a non-semi-automatic firearm. Uh, basically, new classification. Right. A firearm, I guess. Uh, this is here. Classified as like an other? Uh, spring assisted bolt gun. Like there we go, power. okay. Perfect. So, and it turned, actually from that, it turned into three things. Not just, okay, we can get guns into a restricted state, California, right. New York, Massachusetts. Right. So basically how it works is, you drop the bolt on your round, you fire the gun, and it'll check back, and basically it's bolt locked. And everything. Right. And the NRA shooters were liking it, and a lot of parents like it, because now they have a spring-assisted bolt gun that they can teach a new shooter on or give the kid, and they don't want to have a semi-auto yet. Where, here you go, Johnny, I can take my offer, give it to my kid, and say, hey, it's all signed in. Um, and then we have a lot of people here in Vegas who want it because they're like, hey, we travel to Vegas, or we travel to California. Right. We gotta go someplace, they don't want to take their AR, they want to be compliant. They take your upper off, it's already signed in, throw it on our lower, and other compliance in California. And the other thing is you could have a detachable magazine now right. because you're not a sound. Yeah, you're, you're both action basically. Um, right, well, spring assistable. Spring assistant, yes. So, well, the other thing, like you bring up a lot of people try to run either the side the charger bolts or uh, or use this as a charger right. to run it as a bolt gun. Well, the biggest disadvantage for that is I have to take my hands off the weapon. Right. I also have to move my my sights. Correct. I can't track the Right. Yeah, you're not staying on target. Right. Yeah. So now I can run this gun. I can drop it. I can fire. I can keep my sights on target when I, when I load that next round. So is this available right now, or are we still waiting on release date? Where are we at? Um, we're hoping for a quarter or two of this year. We're talking to some manufacturers here. So I think now is the proper time to get going and have stuff here and get exported to Canada in other places as well as just have it manufactured yeah. so what other unique features are on this that differentiates it from everything else besides the spring assist um so this isn't an ar lower okay this, uh, everybody's like oh it's just an add-on to a semi -auto. well it's not a semi-automatic lower this is our lower we've drilled into it we have six proprietary parts okay. uh, but it takes all other ar-15 parts okay so you can take your lower on there slap it you have a special trigger you like, you put that trigger in. You have a special grip you like, you put that on, buffer tube, everything. All this is AR-15 except for our lower and five other potential parts. Awesome, I appreciate you taking the time and talking with us. Um, guys, this is the uh, Fox unit. It's gonna be available soon. Right now, we're gonna come talk to the guys over at NAGA. This is the National African American Gun Association. So Phil, yes. as being the founder, Talk to me, tell me what, what your experience is the first time that you guys have got a group here at Shasha. It's been exciting. It's our first time. Obviously, we've never done this before, but it's been very, very good. We met some great contacts, and the response from the public has been very, very positive. So, so far, thumbs up. Awesome, awesome. Doug, how's your experience been? I, you've been here before. <laughs> you, we, we've, we've been here together before. Yes, sir. Having the booth, how's your first, your first time experience here with the booth? It's, it's been awesome having the booth here, to be honest. I mean, the, the support, uh, the, the, the good reactions, the great reactions that we have from people just seeing us here, it's been really a boon for us. Uh, so I've just really enjoyed talking to the folks, making sure they know about our org, and then show them some of the new initiatives that we've got here. It really made us flex this year. Absolutely. Same question for you, Oliver. How was your experience? So I just landed here about an, two hours ago, and <laughs> since I've gotten here, there's so many people have come by the booth already and want to talk to us and congratulate us. And um, being out, this is our first time here. It is just a great experience just to be here and witness everybody coming over and finding out about NAGA. 
Awesome, awesome. Good, yeah. good. We're a unique organization, a brotherhood that anybody can join. It is not just for, you know, you look at us and we're the older type, but it's for the young generation, it's for the old generation, it's for everybody. Um, and just come on by the booth, talk to us, sit down with us. We're not um, so far to the left or to the right, but we're right there for everybody. And that's, that's the message we want to bring to everybody. Absolutely. So, so one thing that we definitely want to do, we want to get more people engaged with the shooting sports. Uh, so we want to make sure we're uh, able to uh, assist partnership with shooting sports organizations, up to competition shooting, and then really embrace digital media. So make sure that we've got uh, a much better and robust presence, uh, whether it be on Facebook, Instagram, even TikTok, you know, whatever the new right. social media is out there, because that's where the youth are and that's where we've got to reach them. We're a community-based organization. It starts from the ground on up. So what we try to do is all our chapters, our chapter presidents, our regional directors, we put the information into our chapters in their hands and they give it to the members and they go out and implement those things that they've learned. The 2A, Second Amendment, um, the national and local laws, all that comes from the ground up from the community standpoint. So that's how we're able to grow the organization and more importantly, teach the folks in our organization what we're about. We are a big chain organization, meaning that no matter who you are, who you vote, who you dress with or don't dress with, anything regarding your personal life, it doesn't matter. We want you to join NAGA because we're an uh, inclusive uh, organization that starts from the ground on up. So please come and join us. Absolutely. There you go. You guys heard it from Phil. He is the founder and president of NAGA here in uh, the 2022 SHOT Show in Vegas. This is their first time having a booth here and won't be the last. Hey guys, Jonathan from Rest on Firearms. We're here with Mike from USCCA. As you guys already know, USCCA is a big proponent of uh, Rest on Firearms. We use them at every single one of our classes. They are great. They're full of information and knowledge. Mike, Jonathan here. Nice How are show. you doing, man? Good to be here. You good? good to be here. Awesome. Talk to me. Yeah. What is USCCA doing right now here at the 2022 SHOT Show? What are you guys doing? Yeah, so uh, as you probably already know, but for these guys, you know, USCCA provides education, training, and self-defense liability insurance for over 610,000 members. We're growing like crazy. Uh, and uh, like we have going on with you guys at Redstone, uh, we have our official partner program. Yes. Uh, about three years ago, the short story is we just decided there's enough people telling us we need to have boots on the ground being able to help out ranges, retailers, and firearms instructors. So we finally took that dive. So we're here promoting that program specifically. Absolutely. So, I don't know if you know this, California, CCWs are hard to come by. Yeah, y'all doing the Lord's work. <laughs> you ain't lying about that. <laughs> but I will say this, now that LA County, Sheriff Villanueva is issuing CCWs, yeah. he's giving them out. What is USCCA doing to help get those members protected in California? Yeah, absolutely. So at the end of the day, uh, I think all of us who are pure in the in the, in the two-way community understand that, look, self-defense is self-defense, uh, and you need to be able to do whatever it takes to be able to protect you, your family, and your loved ones. Uh, the thing that a lot of people don't understand, though, is what ends up happening on that back end, which is the legal ramifications. You need to be able to be justified in what you did, right? Uh, and then on top of it, you need to make sure that you have the right representation. Absolutely. That education and training, but then also that, that insurance aspect. Uh, and that's where that, that whole portion comes together. Uh, the problem is, uh, it's a fact less of a problem, but certainly people look at it as a problem. You have states like California, where proving your innocence and, and showing that you're justified is difficult. Significantly yep. different process yep. than maybe some other states. Absolutely. That's where we can help. Right now with USCCA, what does the coverage just look like? I know there was an increase in coverages over the last couple of years. What does the coverage just sit at right now for the different membership levels? Yeah. Uh, so with the three different le levels of membership, so self-defense liability insurance is the same across the board. Uh, and the most significant change that we've now done is that the criminal and civil defense portion, so that's that lawyer, that's that um, uh, all the specialists that they may need, uh, that now is now an unlimited uncapped. So there's not a limit to it like there used to be. Right. Uh, on top of that, we are still having that $2 million on the civil damages side, which is the other reason that a lot of people look at it. They're like, look, I can prove my innocence, I can do all that, but I can still get sued. Right. And damages can be awarded even at the criminal side. I was, It was all justified. So that's where that additional uh, opportunity comes up. Absolutely. USCCA, the training component. Yeah. What are you guys doing right now on the training side of things? to step that game up from what it was last year. What are we doing on the training side? So I think one of the biggest gaps that we had uh, is something that we're now promoting, which is an AR platform. Okay. Uh, we've got the concealed carry home defense. We had the first aid fundamentals. We had countering the mastery of threat. We even had a women's thing and then defensive shooting fundamentals, but there was nothing that was under that AR platform. 
Uh, we are going to be releasing that in spring of this year, probably end of Q1, beginning of Q2. Okay. Um, and it's going to be able to take someone who, you know, let's say you or I have been married to a spouse that uh, we want to at least have comfortability with that fire. Right, right. But maybe they're not going to go to the range, do drive fire, that sort of thing. This new program is going to be able to take someone like that, put them in a classroom and be able to put shots on target by the end of it so that they're not just someone who's in that house where that firearm is now useless to them in a self-defense situation. Absolutely. Mike, it's been a pleasure talking pleasure. with you. I appreciate you. Yeah. Appreciate USCCA for everything that you guys do. You guys check out USCCA. If you want that discount, make sure you use that redstone tag. R-E-D-S-T-O-N-E -E, on the USCCA website. We're an official partner with them. Once again, appreciate you. Yeah, Thank man. you. Thanks for being there. Absolutely. Hey guys, Jonathan from Resto Farms. Once again, I want to thank everybody that's taking this journey with us on SHOT Show TV today at the 2022 International SHOT Show here in Las Vegas, Nevada. We want to thank NSSF and the SHOT Show for everything that they've done putting this together. This has been a great show, a great experience, and I want to thank all you guys for taking this journey with us to take a look at all the new products and the new exhibitors. One of the things that I would like to say from Resto Farms is thank you to the NSSF for putting the education out there as to how we were able to get into SHOT Show. This is not our first time, this won't be our last time, but I want to thank them for putting the information out there because not only has that information helped us as a small business, the information from the classes has been invaluable. I want to thank you guys once again for taking this journey with us and choosing Rest on Firearms and me, Jonathan from Rest on Firearms, for taking this journey. Follow us on social media at restonfirearms.com and Rest on Firearms on IG and Facebook. Rest on Jonathan is our backup page on IG. Follow all of our social media for all the new content. Consult, educate, and train.